Let's compare Harmony OS versus EMUI 11. Alright guys, in today's video I will make a deep comparison between Harmony OS and EMUI 11 with all daily usage difference between the two operating systems. The phone on the right is Huawei P40 Pro using latest version of EMUI 11 and the phone on the left is Mate 30 Pro using latest version of Harmony OS. What we will compare today? Lock screens, home screen, control panel or notification panel, settings menu and everything that one user will use every day. But before we start, if you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do this now and hit that bell icon so you never miss a video. Let's jump in! Alright guys, these are the home screens of both devices, but let's start first with the lock screens. Ok, let's lock them. And you can see here we have an always on display for Harmony OS and TMUI and it's the same. Of course we have a different mod, I just select the same mod for both devices so you can see there is no real difference in always on display. Let's tap twice, which both devices are support and here is a standard for Huawei. We have here a shortcut for camera and we have here also shortcut for camera and also the shortcut for your fingerprint. If we swipe down, nothing happens, just the unlock code for both devices. And of course we have magazine unlock feature for both devices. If we swipe from the edge and we just continue sliding, we will change a different wallpapers in the background of our phone. Here, same goes for EMUI, if you swipe, we will have a different wallpapers with that magazine unlock feature. And of course, if you swipe up from the bottom, we will receive our shortcuts for recording, flashlight, calculator, timer and face unlock. And maybe that's everything about the lock screen for both devices. And of course, we are now at our home screen. Here, both devices are using the same theme, stock default for Harmony OS and for EMUI 11. Huawei claims that with Harmony OS they have now a new icons design. Now they look smoother and better. Of course there is slightly redesign of the icons, but really smoother and better. I'm not sure. Let's open settings and let's go back to home screen. What is really the smoother and better? Maybe only Huawei knows this. If we swipe here to the right, we will receive our Huawei Assistant today. It's the same assistant for both operating systems. No difference at all. Of course, we can disable that feature. If we pinch to zoom on both devices, we will receive our wallpaper settings, widget settings, transitions and home screen. If we tap on wallpaper, we will just receive that standard gallery with our wallpapers and we can select one of them. The second here is widgets. If we tap here, they are a little bit reordered, but the whole experience is the same. Widgets are same and almost everything is just the same. What about transitions? Let's open them. A same transition effect default. Perspective, squeeze, box, what we have here, flip over, rotate, page and windmill. It's the same for both devices. Home screen settings, let's just tap here. We have a layout, a layout here for Harmony OS. Let's just tap them and see what's the difference. 4x6, 5x5 and 5x6. Same goes for EMUI 11. Lock layout, auto align, Huawei Assistant today for both devices and we have here a new menu icons. What that means? Show widget bars. Show a bar underneath app icons that can be expanded into service widgets. What that means is if we swipe up and you can see we have here a bar under gallery icon. Here we miss that of this bar this is a new feature if we swipe up on an icon that have this bar under it let's just do it and you can see what we receive it's now generating a service widget which can be resized in 2x2 
2x4 or 4x4. These widgets came with a different types of information according to each application. This service widget can also be dragged to a new location or added to your custom home screen, making the easiest and the most convenient way to organize the screen elements. If we tap here to pinch them, it's here now. And if you hold your finger, you can just tap for more snip sets and you have a different you can see up to home screen and we have now this gallery which is also generating a service widget. This is probably the major home screen difference between Harmony OS and TMUI and let's try with just another application. Let's just remove that one and let's just try for example with uh, the calendar if we just swipe it you can see now this is the new snip set and if we hold finger here more snippets and you can see different service widgets for your calendar this one for example you can add it so these are the snippets coming with new harmony os and it's not necessary just to swipe up on icons you can just hold your finger on one of these icons which has a bar under it and you can see you have a now menu snippets if you tap here it will directly open your snippets and you can just select one of them and probably one of the best is here on the weather widget if you just hold your finger and select snippets now you can just select a weather set expandable snippet let's just put it here and it's way more beautiful than this one i think with weather background, all the clouds, sunny weather, rain and everything, all the animation effect, it's very very beautiful. So these are the benefits of these new snippets or service widgets. Here on Harmony OS we have again something new which is related to the home screen and these are new smart folders. Harmony OS adds support for app categorization and management by pressing down on a standard folder displays a large folder let's just do this and you can enlarge it if you tap here it will just go larger on which users can directly access similar apps in a single place and most interestingly these apps can be opened by tapping on the thumbnail icons without accessing the folder first all right let's just tap somewhere here for example on that Geekbench and it will directly open Geekbench. This is just same as on iOS 15. Here we have that on Huawei Harmony OS. Here of course we miss that. Let's just hold our finger on folder and nothing happens. So again we have here these smart folders. On Harmony OS we have support for step free font weight adjustment and the future also allows you to adjust the size of the font itself. Let's just check that on settings, display and brightness. Let's open it here. And textile. And we have here a new menu called text size and weight. We have here a text size and also we have a font weight which is bolding of your font. You can see how it's going bolder because here we miss that future text weight. Sadly my favorite future coming with almost all Android devices again is missing here and that swipe down gesture for notification panel. When you swipe down it's going for search same as Apple devices and here on Harmony OS it's the same. I miss that future a lot because with these phones and with these big screens we can just reach to the top of the screen but it is what it is at the end until we are here at the home screen we can check again our new service center coming with harmony os if you swipe diagonally from lower left or right corner here on harmony os just like this it will go directly to your services or with other words this is the new service center coming with harmony os you can see even the clock is moving so the widgets here are live this is the place where all of your collected service widgets are stored and ready to offer access to your desired services these service widgets 
can be added to home screen with a simple tap and can be placed anywhere on the home screen for example the clock widget add to home screen automatic service update and it's just added to our home screen here it is service widgets can be shared from one harmony os device to another and enable to share of the on-screen content with the recipient on the other end without the need to install any app to view that content of course it's very important for harmony os ecosystem and of course we can shrink the folder to goes down again for a small folder of course with harmony os and harmony os ecosystem came the new super device super device shows the real power of harmony os and defines the true meaning of the internet of everything era what that means is here we have all our super devices it will search for super devices and will connect all of them they need to be in huawei ecosystem this feature is powered by the distributed capabilities of harmony os and allows users to combine different devices to form super devices of course we have here a nice animation but sadly i don't have other harmony os device here so i can't show you now what exactly it looks like but probably you imagine it i have a video everything new about harmony os you can check it here so until we are here let's go back and swipe down on home screen what will happen here you can see this is the standard notification panel for all the android devices you will receive here your toggles for Wi-Fi, mobile data and everything that you add here and, and also your screen brightness level. This is just a standard as every Android device. And what we have here, we have that new control panel. We will have here a widget for music player. We will have here of course our toggles. If you swipe down, you can check all of them. You will receive your super devices here. That's the whole idea of Harmony OS and their control panel. And of course, what else we have here? We have a different and separate toggles for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. If you tap here, it will just open a new window with all the Wi-Fi networks without going directly to Wi-Fi settings. So this is something which is look like a lot MIUI 12.5 and of course iOS. And with the latest update to Harmony OS, Huawei just add that feature when we swipe here it will go to left and here you can read all your notifications and here it's just the standard for every android all notifications will be down here under the notification toggles here you need to swipe left or right on that control panel to check your notifications again it is same for for xiaomi mi y 12.5 and here we can check if we have something new about the camera of course under the camera here we have that small bar and if we swipe up we will receive that new snip set if we open the camera let's go inside it and check what's the difference you can see in photo we have almost the same style and layout we have here night portrait photo video let's go to video it's also the same we have here a pro mode it's going the same here and we have more probably the only and uh, main difference here is, is that in harmony os we have that multi cam and with that multi cam option of course we can use our other harmony os devices in harmony os ecosystem and share our camera viewfinder on them now let's go and check if we have something new in settings let's open settings for both we can go every setting one by one and check the major difference between Harmony OS and EMUI 11. Let's open W1. Here is here is W1. Here is Wi-Fi. But I'm not sure this is related to Harmony OS and EMUI 11, or it's just related because this is Chinese version of uh, Mate 40 Pro and this is global version of P40 Pro, and probably the difference is coming from there. So what we have here: a new network acceleration. On Harmony OS, what that means, selected tabs can simultaneously use mobile data and WLAN to maintain optimal connection quality. Actual data usage is subject to your network provider statistic. Turn the switch off and on again to restore the data usage notifications. So, this is something which is coming here with Harmony OS. If we tap on more settings, 
what will receive WLAN security check. Check the security of connected WLAN networks and avoid connecting to known networks that pose security risk. Again, I'm not sure this is coming with Harmony OS or this is just the difference between the Chinese market and global market. Bluetooth at mobile networks looks exactly the same. Inside, of course, we have our super device new menu here. You can see all the animations. I already explained everything about this. Let's open more connections. Multi-device collaboration is missing here on Harmony OS. Probably the only major difference here is Huawei High Car. Connect to Huawei High Car wirelessly via a USB cable. If your card supports wireless connection, you can connect by holding down the voice button on the steering wheel or accessing Huawei High Car on the touchscreen panel. So, this is probably a future coming with Harmony OS integration with multiple devices. So let's go for home screen and wallpaper. Everything is almost the same here. We have a small difference here on always on display. Here if we want to check our display style or our AODs, we need to tap one more tile and check our AODs here. But here we have all of them just on the front page of always on display. That's the major difference here, nothing more. Let's check display and brightness. You can see how the whole slider is with a thicker line, just like Android 12. The whole menu is reordered, text size and weight, as I already showed you. And we have here, if we tap on color, we have a natural tone. Automatically adjust color temperature based on ambient light for a consistent paper-like view experience. And we missed that feature here, nature tone the textiles and a true tone in display settings. Here you can see apps and services and here it's only apps, let's just open them. But we miss that future services, let's just open it and check what we have here. Automatic updates, smart remote, we have just different services here inside that apps menu and you can check all the permissions about them. Let's check battery. Looks like the same, of course. These tiles are just separated, but this is coming with the new theme. Nothing spectacular. App launch is missing here on Harmony OS. More battery settings. And here we have just same experience. But here in the battery, we miss that app launch future, which is here on EMUI 11 and if you want to use that feature you need to go separately for every application. Let's go to storage and check the new animations there. This is the main difference here, the new animation with the new colors, it's bigger, it's more beautiful of course and here is just the standard, of course we have a cleanup button and let's check security tab. What we have here more is the trust space. What is trust space? Trust space keeps your mobile payment secure by monitoring your WLAN connection, preventing other apps from accessing your SMS verification codes and text inputs and un unrooting your device if it's rooted. Of course, we can't root Huawei devices for now. Again, I'm not sure that this trust space is not because of the China market. Let's check the other future. It is block fake mobile towers. Block fake mobile towers. Fake mobile towers pretend to be a part of your network provider's network and may be used to send you adverts or commit fraud. Privacy. We miss here, we miss the option for share analytics, like here on EMUI 11 and the biggest change here is that location services are now moved inside our privacy settings because in EMUI they are just on the main menu settings but here they are moved inside the privacy menu. So this is the biggest difference, location services are moved inside privacy. Let's check accessibility features, let's open them. Here what's the difference, 
is that we have that stylus option here but here we missed that option on EMUI 11 and also we have a travel assistant here on Harmony OS if we tap it get more out of your travels information about the places you visit during the day will automatically be sent to your phone no installation necessary so this is probably something new coming with Harmony OS travel assistant we have HMS score here on a separate menu here we miss that so in Harmony OS we have now HMS score and it is just like Google menu on every Android phone like this menu because I have Google services installed on my EMUI 11 device and my Harmony OS device you can check the video here but HMS core now has a separate menu in my settings HMS core here we miss that let's check system and updates let's just open them you can see now we have that phone clone tab because phone clone is now moved inside the settings menu in system and updates here it's missing but in Harmony OS we have phone clone moved inside system and updates menu Harmony OS over EMUI 11 this is UpGuard what that means UpGuard runs safety check on apps before you install them and recommends safe downloads from app gallery when available so that's about app guard on new harmony os the app guard mode is enabled by default but of course i disable it this prevents risky apps from being installed and helps to safeguard the secure running environment of the entire operating system there is a lot more differences between harmony os and emui 11 under the hood but this is the video just to show you the major visual differences between these two operating systems and of course if you spot something new which i missed here on the video please let me know down in the comment and of course guys if you like this video and if this video helps you somehow don't forget to subscribe my channel and like my videos thanks for watching and have a nice day